Holy crap, welcome to my channel. This is Project Cars. Verdict is uh, not in yet. The jury's still out. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for them to do maybe another update or two because this game is, when it works, a lot of fun. But it is glitchy as balls. Which is sad. But when it works, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, here's just a really quick couple of clips of me racing in a Formula Rookie and Open Wheel Series at uh, Sonoma, formerly known as Sears Point. Uh, you might recognize it if you're a NASCAR fan. It's one of the two road courses that NASCAR goes to each year. Uh, and I love their slogan. It's called Think Outside the Oval. But here's what happens when you're an open wheel car and you think you've made the pass successfully and cleanly, and the pass is over, and the car isn't quite behind you yet. Enjoy. All right, here we are. That's me in the white and gold livery. I'm just sort of following this guy in the blue and white, and uh, not really in any rush to get around him. I'm just in free practice mode here, just trying to learn the track and get a feel for the car. But basically, the guy does kind of get in my way, and I'm a little bit faster than he is. So, so I'll go ahead and try to make a pass on him. And I think I have it pulled off when this happens. Just to show you what it looks like uh, with an onboard camera, as I experienced it in my sim rig, a bit more startling. And it also kind of shows you that during the replay mode, one of the glitches is that I guess that Sonoma has some of the world's worst corner workers because the debris is there before the accident. And so they never cleaned it up? I don't know. At any rate, you know, the physics are great when the wheels are on the ground and everything's going as it should be. Uh, like many sims, though, however, when things get airborne and go haywire, the physics get wonky. So I should have kept my forward momentum there and kept rolling and crashing, but no, I kind of stopped it in the air. Okay. Now, just to show you I know how to get around this track without crashing, here's a pretty good lap. And we're getting ready to cross the start finish line, going into this uphill left hand turn one. This series of turns is really just fascinating and complicated because the suspension is loading up as you're going uphill and you're getting a braking assist. But that, that right hand turn right there, as the brow press or suspension unloads, uh, your tires get light and your grip goes away and your car tends to slide outside of the turn, which is fun and it's uh, also an opportunity to really burn up your tires if you're like me and you just love spinning rubber. Uh, at any rate, it's a fun track. Um, lots of elevation changes and twists and turns. And it seems to me to look a little narrow for put a bunch of NASCAR cars on, but you know, what the hell. For the wheel, it's, it's pretty fun. For some reason, this is, even though this is after the accident, the debris is still on the track. And going into the long straight for the final hairpin turn. me clearly ahead of my competitors well that's a taste of project cars i've uh, been super enjoying it uh, i just hope like i say that uh they get the bugs ironed out because it's very deep deeper even than uh, forza motorsport maybe not quite as many cars but more tracks and the physics and the adjustments that you can make even to the force feedback is is really really goes in depth um but uh, i've had several instances of the force feedback stop working or the game will hang up and freeze during a load or a save but if they can get those bugs ironed out 
uh, I can really get behind this game and give it a full endorsement as the kind of racing sim that does not come along to console owners very often. Uh, it's a great game.